Okay, so I love this. Uh, Cameron said, how is this the time if the recession makes it harder? So here, that's a good question, Cameron. So the, the, the beautiful part about this is the, the good business owners, the, the ones that we, so you know how we're always like, oh, we got this deal, but the guy couldn't close any leads, right? Yep, we've all been there. Guess what? All those guys, they're out of business. They're going to be going out of business. So on one hand, it's going to make it really fucking easy. Okay. Because now we don't have to go through all these bullshit people that shouldn't even be in business. Okay. So that's number one is now it's going to clear the slate and only the good people are going to be standing. But what's going to happen is a lot of the people, guys, you have like, there's people right now that you know that you're like, no way. They're going to lose their jobs. Okay. They're going to lose their jobs. And my cousin, he's been talking about how cool this company is and how the benefits and they play pickleball and all this bullshit. He's done, dude. There's no job. Okay. So guess what guys like him are doing? They're like, yo, I got to go find some other thing. And I ain't going to trust. It only takes for most people it takes one time of getting laid off for them to go bullshit. If I'm leaving that to somebody else. So guess what's going to happen? Well, all these motherfuckers are going to start doing businesses now. They're going to start starting their own thing. They get laid off. They're in a construction company. They get laid off. What do you think they're going to do? There ain't no job to go get. They're going to go start their own thing. And guess what? Those people need leads. So we're going to have the OGs, the, one that the ones that should be there, the good business owners. They still want leads. They're still in business. They're not going anywhere. And we're going to have a whole slew of new people jumping into business because they just got laid off. Now, am I, am, are all those going to be people we want to work with? No. But the, the fact of the matter is, is, and I, I don't know where I heard this. I know it's cliche. There's never a bad time to start a good business, okay? There's never a bad time. If you're average, you should be terrified of what's gonna come. If you're not willing to put in the work, you should be terrified. But do you know why I'm not terrified? You know why I'm over up here smiling? You know why I'm, why I'm excited? We're not posting about it every single time on my story, just giddy as a little child ready to watch his favorite freaking film come on the movie theater. It's because I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to put in the work. I don't care what it takes. I don't care what I got to miss. I don't care what vacation I got to shift back. I don't care if I got to work 82 days in a row. I don't care. I'm willing to do it because I know what happens. I've watched it in 2020 and it compounds and you do one day and then you do two days and then you just did five days. You take a little break. It's weekend. Boom. Come back Monday. You do another five days. You do another five days. Before you know it, you string a couple of good months together. Boom. Just had our first 10K month. A couple months later, another 10K month. Okay. Eight months later, you look up, you're like, holy shit, I'm at 100K a month. What just happened? Nine months ago, I was about to quit. Nine months ago, I was making 100 or I was making $8,000 a month, barely paying my bills, $60,000 in debt. Okay, that's what happens. So the fact of the matter is, Cameron, if you're, and I, I'm just saying this rhetorically, if you're an average, if you're someone that's average and you're, you're not willing to put in the work, you better be terrified. Okay, but that's why I'm on this call there's no more room for dabbling. There's no more room for toe in the water. There's no more room for the half pregnant, the half committed person. People know it, man. People know it. But guess what? I know you, Cameron. I know, I know what you're capable of. Dude, now's your time, bro. Let's go be the baddest 20, 21 year, I think you're 20, 20 year old out there that's freaking cranking out leads that has a $100,000 a month agency. 